Hi boys and girls. I just wanted to do a little demonstration that I thought was going to be cool. So here is a Petri dish of milk. And from what I read on the internet, you need to use either 2% milk or whole milk. Skim milk doesn't work that well, and I guess we'll explain why in a little bit. So you take your milk and you put some drops of food coloring in your milk. Um, it's best if you can use different colors again. Um, I don't know how many colors I actually have, but the blue seems to be empty. Let's see what else I have here. Oh, I have some yellow. And I also have some blue here, I think. So it looks pretty cool, but this isn't really the experiment. There's my things of um, colors. And I'm just gonna take a drop of soap. I'm using dish liquid soap, but you can use any kind of soap that you want. And I'm gonna take the drop of soap and I'm gonna put it right in the center and see what happens. So I really want you to think of liquids right now. So you can see as soon as I added that drop of soap, we get this beautiful pattern and this mixing of the colors. Um, I hope you could see this. I couldn't talk any of my kids into helping me. Um, but that is what I wanted you to see. And the question I want you to ask yourself is, why would this happen? Why would this soap have that effect? Why would adding just one tiny drop of soap have the effect of the food coloring spreading throughout the milk and making this beautiful design? Um, this is another opportunity for some extra credit. If you want to try this at home, if you have food coloring, if you have milk, remember it has to be whole milk or 2% milk. That's important, not skim milk, and regular dish soap. So let me know if you want to try this, and we are going to probably have an exit ticket or a test question on why this works. So think about why you think this would happen. Have a good one, guys.